Yeah, I want you guys to have this filled out. Everything I've talked about so far has been on that first page. So code terminals like the radium measures? We're gonna talk about it right now. So let's go into code terminal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so so far we talked about an initial side, right? Initial and terminal. Did anybody watch any videos or anybody look at their book or when they did their homework? Does anybody know what the definition of code terminal? Yes. And an initial. So what it is is it's every single angle, as long as you can draw an angle that has exactly the same initial and terminal side. So as long as they have the same initial and terminal side, you got coterminal angles. All right? Well, let's look at it. From here to here. Let's just pretend this is 120 degrees. Okay? Now, what was the other way that we talked about? You can have the same initial and terminal side. You could go in the other direction, right? So we can go in this direction. Now, is that still 120 degrees? No, it's larger than 120 degrees, right? But what is that measurement? Well, that's one way to find coterminal angles. Think about it. All the way around a circle is how many degrees? 360, right? So if you have part of the circle is 120, how do you figure out the remaining? So I'm 316. So what we could do, again, for coterminal angles is you could say theta prime is equal to 360 minus your angle theta. So your angle theta isn't it 120? Yep, so for this answer it's 120. So um, we could say in this angle it's theta prime equals 360 minus 120, which equals, so theta prime equals 240. Right? 240 degrees. My knee almost gave out. So now usually, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to ask you to tell me one coterminal angle. I'm usually going to say, give me a positive and give me a negative coterminal angle. All right? Um, so what we notice, though, is, ladies and gentlemen, this is in the negative direction, isn't it? Right? So the value is still negative. However, this is going to be a negative angle. It's not 240 in the positive direction. It's 240 in the negative direction. Right? So you got to remember, when you go in that negative direction, you got to give it that Wait, negative sign. Okay. Yes? So that's in the negative, that means like if you theoretically would take that, that, if you could take the terminal side, and you just, you just take it around in the circle the other way until it got to the same position. Mm -hmm. So then if that's the case, then how would you know if it's a positive or negative? Because remember, from here to here is 120. And then when I subtract, what I'm doing is, because look, if you were to continue to go from here to here, what's your new initial side? This would be your initial, and that's your terminal. Right? So you always have to start at your initial. Okay? So you have to start here. So if I'm going to go here to here, it has to be positive. But to go here to here, it has to be negative. So how far do I need to go? How far a distance do I need to travel? I need to travel a distance of 240, but it has to go in the negative direction. Reason why I gave it the red. Yes? For the initial side, it has to always be horizontal, but does it have to be horizontal going to the right, or can it be horizontal going to the left? That's going to be your initial side, going to the right. Always. Okay. Ooh, wow, they're getting rowdy. Um, so, so that's it with that. Um, the next thing I want to do is usually, though, we're going to have a negative and a positive. So, how can I find another angle that's in the positive direction? All right, well, let's think about it. Let's have, let's pretend I have an angle or I'm in a circle. That's a horrible circle. Horrible circle again. All right, well, let's say I'm here, right? and I'm going around in this direction. How far do I have to go around the circle to get back to here? 360 degrees, right? So think about it. If I go from here to here, and I need to get back to here, how far do I need to go around? Well, 240 to get back to my initial side, but remember, I need to get back to my terminal, so I have to add 360, right? So could you also say theta prime equals 360 degrees plus theta? Well, it doesn't go, you have to take it around. Yeah, 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 it would be because if you have 120 and then you have to go 360 degrees, then you'd have to add those two. Right, so let's do that. So if I did 360 plus theta, so I do theta prime equals 360 degrees plus 120. 
theta prime equals Attention teachers, all students should be returning back to their class at this time. So let's look at what that degree, 480 degrees. Let's do it. So I go from here to here is 120, right? And then I go around 360 degrees more. Did I start at my initial and end at my terminal? Oh, yeah. Then I have coterminal angles. Wait, wouldn't there be infinite coterminal angles? There are infinite coterminal angles. And that is the reason why I'm only going to ask for one positive and one negative. But yes, very good. Because you could, guess what? There's infinite negative too. You go in here, and then you can go 360. 360. 360. Yes? I'm still not understanding what, what, what you mean. Like, I understand after you added 360 and 120 degrees to get 480, I'm not understanding anything after that. Like, okay. Watch. To go from here to here is how far? 120. To go from here all the way back over again is how far? 360. 360. So 360 plus 120 is 480. And what I'm trying to tell you is when I go from here and I go past this point, but I go all the way around, I just did 480 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. But what? Yes. Okay, never mind. But when I go back through this point and end it here, did I start at the initial and end at the terminal? Um, yes. But how do you know that that is where, one, where, is, where 480 ends? Because remember, all I did was I go from here to here is 120, right? We proved that's our given and that's our given problem. Yeah. Well, to get back around again is only 360. You can only go around a circle oh. is 360 degrees. Make sense? Okay. Got it? Yes. So 480 would be the coterminal angle. 360. 480 would be a positive coterminal angle. Negative 240 would be a negative coterminal angle. So all you have to do is do the negative and subtract the angle that's given from 360. Not always, because you sometimes you have to subtract 360 twice or three times to get it to be negative. Because what if I gave you an angle 600? Would 600 minus 360 give you a negative angle? No, but you can infinitely keep on subtracting 360 until you get a negative angle. Yeah, because look at negative once, negative twice, right? You can keep on going around and around. But 360 minus 120 in and of itself doesn't give you a negative angle. You added the negative. I know. That's what I'm saying. You got to be cognizant of that. They're actually, the formula you can get rid of that and say theta minus 360, and that would give you that negative version. But I'm just doing it in a hindsight of make understand what direction. Yes. So you could get a coterminal with a negative sign too. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, I mean you could also you could rewrite this as do theta minus three hundred and sixty, and it'd be a negative two hundred and forty. So you got negative two hundred and forty minus three hundred and sixty. Right. You could do coterminal if you had a negative angle was your initial angle. You would still do the same process of adding and subtracting three hundred and sixty. Okay. Do you have a question on Nico? No. No. Okay. Any last questions on this?